James Wiseman set to become the Dubs starting center again after missing an entire season due to a meniscus tear in his right knee. Whether or not the former number two overall pick in 2020's draft can bounce back in his first full season in front of fans will have a big impact on Golden State's success. With that said, the 2022 NBA champion saw young players similar to Wiseman and Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins make massive strides in their development. Klay Thompson made a full return to 100% after missing double the amount of time as Wiseman and being much older. Meanwhile, Draymond's currently demanding a max extension worth 164.2 mil over five years, but with the just 21-year-old Wiseman showing unlimited potential as a backside defender, even though Green's a seven-time all-defensive team player and a former DPOY, him making 32 million per year by the time he's 38 years old doesn't seem plausible given the Warriors would be forced to go deep into the luxury tax to make that happen. But going back to development, that's exactly what you can expect from two soon-to-be sophomores in the 2021 lottery picks Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody. At the head of the snake, there's the greatest shooter of all time who's getting prepped to try and lead his dubs to a dominant five championships in eight seasons and tie Kobe Bryant in rings. Curry's legend continues to grow after hosting the ESPYs, but in all seriousness, it's fairly mind-boggling what Steph's achieved throughout his career, given he doesn't have the benefit of having a physical advantage, standing at only around 6'3". Curry lost two crucial role players this offseason who were valuable screen setters for him in Otto Porter Jr. and Gary Payton II. This forces players like Wiseman, Kaminga, and Moody to develop faster, which may seem like a bad thing at first, but as you'll find out, could make things more of a problem in 2023 for Golden State Warrior opponents. What's the ceiling of James Wiseman entering his unofficial second NBA season? Plus, will the Warriors find a way to make Draymond happy? Stay tuned to find out. Before continuing, according to YouTube's analytics, only 15.5% of you watching right now are subscribed, so press the sub box for more content like this regularly if you haven't already. Help this video and YouTube's algorithm by leaving a like, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at dflowhoops. I can't thank you enough for any bit of support. Now into the content. The Golden State Warriors are of course a top-notch front office in terms of their decision making, which is what should undoubtedly be the narrative revolving around their success. Anyone who tries to paint the picture that money got the Warriors to where they are hasn't been paying attention. Joe Laca bought this team 12 years ago when it was worth merely $450 million. Now the franchise is worth $5.6 billion based off Lacob and his front office led by Bob Myers making excellent basketball decisions one after the other. So any idiot trying to claim the Warriors are winners because of their checkbook should step off the air. With that being clear... The Warriors just won a championship with the highest payroll in NBA history, and based off the recent reports from The Athletic regarding Draymond, things are about to get much more expensive. Despite each member of the Dubs' core being under contract in 22-23, four of the reigning champs' five best players in Green, Wiggins, Poole, and Thompson are all eligible for contract extensions this offseason, potential deals which have the chance to put Golden State even deeper into the luxury tax than they already are over the next few years. Draymond can receive the extension he wants from his good pal Bob Myers on August 3rd and reportedly wants to cash in to the maximum extent. The two-time All-NBA player and 2017's Defensive Player of the Year is on track to make 25.8 mil next season and has a player option of 28.5 mil after that. However, for Green to pick up the biggest bag possible on an extension, he'd have to decline his option and re-up at 120% of his current annual salary. That scenario would allow the Warriors to pay their biggest enforcer and most versatile pick-and-roll defender by far over $164 million for the next five seasons. Problem with this demand is that it's typical for the Warriors' prestigious front office to give their top players extensions when they've only got one year left on their current deal. Draymond's got two left, but of course he could opt out next year, so that could make the Warriors want to lock him up. But even Stephen Curry waited until he was a year away from free agency before re-upping last offseason. Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole are in that position now. Klay Thompson's also eligible for an extension right now, but with two years left on his deal, the Warriors aren't in a hurry to pay him. According to The Athletic, the head of the snake Stephen Curry prefers the Warriors to pay their veterans what they want, Steph sees himself, Thompson, and Green as a package deal and wants the three of them to remain together as long as they can in the Bay. Suitably, a three-year extension for Draymond would make his contract end exactly when Steph's does. 
Things become more imminent for the Warriors when you take into account that if Golden State's unwilling to extend Draymond, he's reportedly willing to pursue other options to get the contract that he wants. Draymond can become an unrestricted free agent as soon as next offseason in a world where the Dubs refuse to pay him right now, which as you'll find out later on, may be the way to go. Would Green play out this season expecting to possibly leave? Would he try to force a trade? It's tough to say he'd force his way out based on his proven loyalty, but not re-upping Green could have its consequences in the locker room. But the bottom line is, Golden State continuously expresses their desire to extend their chance at winning a title beyond this current course prime. Ultimately, if that's the end goal here for the dubs, that means extending the 27-year-old Wiggins and the mere 23-year-old Poole would be greater priorities than Draymond. With Green under contract for another year, Golden State could potentially keep him while developing Jonathan Kaminga and James Wiseman as frontcourt replacements if he decides to leave. On the topic of Wiseman, it's unbelievable that the Golden State Warriors managed to win the championship on the back of Stephen Curry, and it's even more insane that the Dubs kept up a consistent top of the Western Conference type pace for practically the entire 21-22 regular season and playoffs, all without the services of their starting center. Massive props go to Kavon Looney, who proved to be the team's unsung hero with his shockingly versatile defensive chops, specifically guarding pick and roll sets in drop coverage. The switchability, exceptional hands to catch every pass, plus monster finishing and rebounding from Looney is going to force Wiseman to have to earn his way back into Steve Kerr's starting five. But there's nothing wrong with a little internal competition, and the battle for minutes between James and Kavon will get the best out of both of them. Wiseman's a locomotive in transition, and given he can start the break after grabbing the rebound, the old school center is also an underrated ball handler. However, where James thrives offensively is with his polished finishing and his ability to be the perfect outlet to creators in the pick and roll. Also, Wiseman's got explosive athleticism, which allows him to bully rotating defenders with posterizing jams. James made a stellar 80% of his field goal attempts from 0 to 3 feet, and whether that was made possible with his ferocity or pristine jump hooks, there's no doubt Wiseman's got unlimited upside as a finisher. If you're wondering about his versatility on defense, Wiseman still has a long way to go at learning offensive sets, staying down on pump fakes, and improving his overall composure, but Wiseman's hedging and recovery when guarding the pick and roll has shown flashes of being elite at times. Playing in drop is a coverage James needs to improve on, but vamped anticipation only comes with experience, so again, the kid just needs to watch tape and get between the lines as much as possible. It'll be intriguing to see if James can shake off the rust, while also showing signs of growth as an up-and-coming young player in this powerhouse dub system. In your opinion, should Joe Lacob and Bob Myers extend Draymond? Two commenter shoutouts next video. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one.